Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator Associate Certification course. We just finished module 9 and in this video, we're going to do a quick knowledge check on all the things what we have learned in the previous module. We're going to do a quick knowledge check on all the things what we have learned on the previous episodes. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's look at the first question. When using Microsoft 365 sensitivity labels, a single item of content can have which of the following labels applied? Select two. The right answers are a retention label and a single sensitivity label. Question number two. Watermarks applied through sensitivity labels are limited to how many characters? The right answer is 255. Let's look at question number three. Which of the following is not a capability of sensitivity labels? The right answer is data retention. Let's look at question number four. Which of the following can be accomplished with a sensitivity label policy? The right answers are apply a default label, determine which users and groups see the labels. And the last answer is require justification for changing a label. Let's look at question number five. Which exchange feature enables users to have an archive mailbox and move or copy messages between their primary mailbox and their archive mailbox? The correct answer is in place archiving. Question number six. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, Rule 17A 4 requires that after a retention policy is turned on, it cannot be turned off or made less restrictive. If your organization needs to comply with this rule, what Office 365 feature can you use to meet this requirement? The correct answer is reservation lock. Question number seven. What is the first step that needs to be performed when configuring in-place records management in SharePoint? The right answer is activate in-place records management at the site collection level. Question number eight. You are the compliance administrator for Contesto Limited and you want to activate in place archiving for a greater number of users. What will happen to the mailbox object in the user mailboxes as soon as you activate the archiving mailbox? Correct answer is all elements older than two years will be moved to the archive mailbox. Question number nine. You are working as the Compliance Administrator for Contoso Limited and you need to delegate permissions to your Compliance Management team to create retention policies. Which permissions do you need to assign to members of the team? The correct answer is Compliance Administrator. Question number 10. What happens to an archive mailbox if a user's primary mailbox is deleted? The right answer is it is disconnected from the user and deleted after 30 days. Let's look at question number 11. For a given message, when is the time period specified by a message retention policy determined? The correct answer is when the message is received. All right, so that concludes module nine. In the next episode, we are starting module 10. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.